Okay, so let me just save the small talk. In this video, I'm going to install Windows applications on my Arch Plus High Plan setup, aka Linux. We all know that it's almost a disaster if you try to use Windows applications on Linux, specifically those which do not work on Linux. Whether you talk about Adobe applications or other Windows applications which are exclusive and did not even run properly using Wine or Bottles. In that case, we have WingBoat, a relatively new application slash dude through which we can do a lot of stuff. And most importantly, use Windows applications without any problem. So yep, let's get started. Let's do the introductions first. This is WinBoot. Unlike Wine or Proton, it doesn't try to translate Windows calls to Linux. Instead, it runs a full Windows environment behind the scene and then steams your application directly into the Linux desktop, making them feel native as if they were installed on your Linux system instead. And the best part, it's all automated, clean and super easy to set up. Okay, so first you need to meet some requirements. As we're seeing here, you need at least 4GB RAM. Well, at least 4GB of spare RAM in my opinion. That means you should at least have 8GB of RAM in your whole system, at least 2 CPU which means a decent CPU, and a storage of at least 40 GBs. That's my opinion. Then you need certain packages as well, for example KVM, Docker, Docker Compose, Docker User Group, and Free RDP. You see, I use ChatGPT for this particular thing, and I just had to install all these packages from one command, then start the Docker, and then Docker Compose, and then add it to the user. You see, you just have to enter one command after another. I'm gonna link all of them in the description, don't worry about it. But you see, you need one more thing here, which wasn't covered here. So you see, you need a proper Windows ISO as well. Just go to your Chrome, type Windows 11 ISO and download it from the official Microsoft repository. And make sure that you're downloading an ISO for x64, not ARM, okay? This is a mistake a lot of people have done. And go with normal setup like English, USA, Windows 11, x64 and just download it. And after setting everything, just go to the WinBoot website and yeah, I really like the website. Run Windows applications on Linux with seamless integration. And the features, yep, we're gonna talk about it in a minute. You already saw the thumbnail, don't you? So, for Linux, just go here, download app image. And here, this is the best part. If you're on Debian, Ubuntu or Fedora based distributions, you can just download the native packages directly. But like me, if you're on different architectures, like I'm on Arch Linux, just go on with app image, okay? Now the next part is, just store your app image in one place, a safe place, not just the download folder, okay? This is very messy. So there, just right click on it, go to properties and execute as program. And then all you need to do is just run. And then the beautiful application will load. Just click next. Then the license agreement, I agree. And then now you have the requirements. If you see that everything is working pretty nicely, just click next. And then now it is time to configure the windows. Just go for Windows 11 Pro, the English language and select the ISO which you downloaded just now. I have it in my documents and just click next. That's it. And yeah, yeah, user configurations as well. Just type the password and click next. And now it is time to for the most important part. You see, this is where I made a mistake and you should not. You see, at least use one fourth of the CPU cores, but for great performance, go for half. I went beyond half and provided 8 GBs of RAM and nearly 100 GBs or 80 GBs of storage. Don't do that. It is not necessary unless you're installing heavy applications, okay? So after doing that, just click next and now it will give you a summary of everything and just click install. That's it. The installation will begin and it'll be pretty damn good. And there's one more important thing which I like about it is that you can see the preview, which means what's actually going on in the background. And yeah, it's going to be automated. You don't have to do anything. And if you click on preview, it will open a local screen on your browser where you can see it is installing Windows 11. Just wait for it. It will do everything by itself, install the whole operating system. And after that, you will see the completion. And once it is done, which is going to take a really long time, you will see the desktop on your preview window. 
now you can tinker in your desktop window but it will be very laggy because that is just a screen mirroring your actual display is actually inside the original application that was just a screen display server you can easily go to apps and open the desktop and that desktop will be really fast and fluid as if you have installed the windows full operating system directly like natively and as you can see you can install all the applications you have access to all the application settings of normal windows so you can update your windows time to time as well it is just set up once and use it forever process and you can also change the configuration for example let's say in future you have a better cpu or gpu or you need to increase the ram you can do it now let's talk about the cons which i faced you see for example i tried to run a game which was a little graphics inten intensive and that is where the flaw of this win board comes in you see in the website it is clearly stated something there is no gpu pass through for the moment they will be doing it in our later versions but not right now but even still i believe this is the best way to run windows applications because first it is made to run lighter windows applications not like premiere pro or davinci resolve on a windows vm or you don't need to play games for games just go on to steam and play through proton or install lutris or heroic there are different ways to play games this is for particularly windows applications which are not officially or relatively available on linux let's say adobe photoshop or some other applications which will never work on proton wine or lutris maybe or even bottles because it can run almost any application you can say not games not premiere pro not after effects but all the lighter applications which come below it and as i went through the system it was really really fast and simple but so was my system resources i accidentally provided it 10 cores 80 gbs 8 gb ram people don't have that amount of ram and cpu on their real pcs these days well some people who use low-end pcs that is why i prefer just to go with 4 gb ram or 6 gb ram or if you have an abundance of ram like a lot of ram then only just allocate that much and for cpu cores just go with six four sometimes eight don't be reckless like me and go for 10 okay and yeah i believe that's it i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments what do you think about it and this was a fun experience and installing it was pretty seamless so yep that's it i'll meet you next video and subscribe for more awesome tech videos uploaded on the channel daily and i'll meet you next video till then i'm home signing out